So in this problem, you can just read the question and we can simplify the x, the position of the particle as position of the particle with respect to k dash frame plus position of k dash frame with respect to k. And they have given that frequency of this is f2, frequency of the particle with respect to k dash and frequency of the frame k dash with respect to k is f1. So this is what is given in the problem. So let's quickly read a point A oscillates according to the certain harmonic law in the reference frame k dash. So this is how it is A with respect to k dash, which in turn, so k dash in turn performs harmonic oscillations relative to reference frame k. So k dash with respect to k. When k dash frame oscillates at the frequency 20 or 24 hertz. So we are talking about k dash with respect to k. So that is oscillating with frequency 20 or 24. So we can say f1 is either 20 or 24. The beat frequency of point A in the k frame turns out to be equal to nu. So A in k frame, that is this, the resultant. So this is A with respect to k dash plus k dash with respect to k. So this whole thing is a with respect to k. Let me write that also. So this has a beat frequency of nu. What? At what frequency of oscillations of the frame k dash will the beat frequency of the point A becomes equal to 2 nu? So when this will become 2 nu? At uh, what f2? Uh, we are talking about at what frequency of the frame k dash? Okay, at what f1? So if we change f1, uh, at what value of f1 this will become 2 nu. So using the first part, so here it is given that the beat, beat frequency is nu. So nu is 24 minus f2 is equal to f2 minus 20. See the beat frequency is same so on both 20 and 24 which means f2 must lie in between them and must lie, lie exactly between them. So f2 must be equal to 22. So this gives nu is equal to 2. Now in case 2, because f2 we are not changing, f2 is still 22. We are asked what should be the f1 such that the beat frequency, eventual beat frequency becomes 2 nu. That means 4. So now f2 is 22 and beat frequency is 4. So f1 must be 4 greater or 4 less than 22, which means f1 should be 26 or 18. So once again, I'll quickly say this question is more about, oh, they have tried to, it's a, they have written this, this question in a complicated language, but it's eventually it's, uh, it's uh, quite simple. So once again, I'll qu quickly explain. So they have given the frequency of A in K dash frame is f2 frequency of k dash frame in k with respect to k is f1 and they have given that beats, beats of a in k frame is nu and we know x is equal to this plus this so whatever is the shm motion here so that uh, the difference of these frequency is the beat frequency so these are the two superimposed shms with frequencies f1 and f2 now they have given f1 is 20 and 24, we don't know f2, but they have given that between f1 and f2, the beat frequency is constant, which means f2 must be in middle of that, that is 22. And of course, if we f2 is 22, then 20 gap between them is 2, so nu is 2. Now in second case, the beat frequency doubles, so beat frequency is 4, f2 is still the same, so f1 is either 4 more or 4 less, that is 26 or 18.